Hey, y'all. God bless everybody. Maranatha, everybody. I know we are waiting and waiting. Today is 12-12. I'm going to show you a video I just recorded with um, a young woman named Caitlin. K follows the way uh, that had her husband had a rapture dream. Very, very short. Um, the night before she had a rapture dream. Very short the next morning. But the interesting thing was, and the reason why I'm kind of doing it this way, is that we were like, okay, she's she's a busy mom. She has a four-year-old and a baby, and we're just going to go for it and record it. And then when I finished recording it, it was 16 minutes, 11 seconds long. Now, Caitlin sees numbers all the time. I see numbers all the time. And so the interesting thing was I went to go look up she goes, oh, oh, I had already uh, seen 1611 because I was looking at 1116. So this is a website that I use called BibleNumbersForLife.com. What would be the odds that, of course, it, the video was 1611, but what would be the odds that 1116, Day of the Lord, comes as a thief in the night? And the funny thing is, there's going to be like a 20 second pause um, where we were having a phone problem, but don't don't think that the video ends; it keeps going. So it ended up being exactly the right time. God wants us to know the day of the Lord comes as a thief in the night. And Caitlin had already been looking at this. Um, this is a website that I've been using for a while. But she was looking at 1111. A lot of us see 1111. Fellowship of believers is few and far between. Isn't that right? Very few and far between that people are able to fellowship with each other, that we're like-minded, that we're of one Holy Spirit. We are the church. Um, so one, uh, 1112 is suffering for Christ spreads spreads the gospel and we do need to be praying for persecuted Christians around the world even uh, especially I you know Kenya is really a terrible place China Iran but Kenya P Christians are dying every day there uh, 1 1113 Satan keeps man of God out and it's seven times 159 and 159 is the faithful church well leading I'm leading this into it because Caitlin um, she was driving one day and she ended up giving out a late, she gave to a lady the left behind letter, which is on my community page and a, a gospel track. I think it was, are you good enough to go to heaven? Because on the way she saw 159, 1059, 159. Then she saw 666. Then she gave her the left behind letter and the gospel track, and then when she was on her way back home, she saw 159, and she didn't know, but then she looked it up. It is the faithful church. Seven, which is perfection, completion, then 159 is the faithful church. 1114 is the blessed hope of Christ's return. 1115, trumpet call of God, dead rise to meet him. Y'all, that is the rapture. That is the rapture. And then 1116, day of the Lord comes as a thief in the night. Now, the reason, a lot of reasons too, why I read these things out is that some of y'all are watching it on your phone, so you can't see it. And then also, um, I have a born again sister who is in Canada who is blind since birth. And so, uh, you know, she can't see that. And then here it is. 158, 158 is fear of death, and 159 faithful church, which is three times 53, and 53 is faithful witness, and 160 is holy church, which is five times 32, which is fellowship. You see how this goes? It's like um, this is one of the one of the websites that I use. Now, uh, this is not going to be showing up right on the screen, but 1611 is uh, wings, had the wings of an eagle, had the wings of the eagle, 
and this is a raptor dream. Both of them uh, were flying up in their two raptor dreams, her husband's and then hers. And then 1611 in the Greek is displacement, i.e. bewilderness, ecstasy, distraction or disturbance of the mind caused by shock, bewilderment, amazement, a trance, astonishment. And you can't see it on the screen because of the way my, I've got it laid out here. But 1611, properly, take out of regular position, standing, and bring into a state of ecstasy, rapture, like a person carried out in a trance-like amazement. This state of mind reaches far beyond the powers of ordinary perception. Astonishment with great amazement. So that is the lead in to the video. And let me play it. Hey, brothers and sisters, how's everybody doing? Rapture, we are now in watch mode. Any day, any hour, any time Jesus is coming, and we're hoping that he is coming. So I've got my friend Caitlin, uh, Kay Follows the Way, on, uh, on the line. She's on the phone, and she just had a rapture dream. And she wanted to tell y'all about it. And of course, when we have rapture dreams, we're supposed to shout it out because there are not that many of us that are going in the rapture. And we want to have a record that we were given dreams and visions beforehand so that this shows that we really did know that the rapture was going to happen and that we were going. So Caitlin, say hello. Hi. When did you have the dream? Um, it was yesterday morning at like 5.38 is when I checked the time. Okay, so tell us about it. So in the dream, I was at some type of building with a bunch of people. I don't think I really knew them, but I, in the dream, I thought they were friends. And we were walking out of the building, and then I shot right up into the sky almost immediately. And I was going really fast, so I closed my eyes. And then I did a quick look back and I saw the people that were down there. They were still on the ground. And then I closed my eyes. And then when I opened them again, I came over to this bright, sunny type of land. And there was a giant rainbow with trees. And you could see the entire rainbow, like both ends of it, standing on the ground. And then I woke up. Okay, so you missed out on an important detail. <laughs> I've already, she's already telling me about the dream. What was on the ground? What was the ground like? Oh, the ground was all gold. It was like very yellowish. Like the whole scene was yellow and the trees were green. So you were up in, you were up in heaven seeing basically gold ground. Yeah. Or maybe like a wheat field or something. Or maybe like a wheat field. And, uh, the flying was like, what was it like? Um, I don't know. I just felt like I was being propelled really, really fast. And I could see myself like pushing through the clouds. Did you have your... And in my dream... Oh, sorry. No, did you have your arms up or... Uh, they were just kind of out by my side, like half halfway raised. Uh-huh. So you were flying heads first. Yeah. But the the weird part was I had mentioned it to my husband later on in the day. And then he said he had a same type of dream at work the night before at 9 p.m. around that time in the break room. And he said he had just laid his head down and he had like a quick vision or maybe he had fell asleep a little bit, like started to doze off. And he felt his body shooting up into a bright light. But when he looked back, he saw the earth on fire. And, and that, that, was, that was the end of that. And that was the end of that. And that, um, <laughs> I'm assuming when he looked back, the earth is a globe, right? It's not flat. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't ask him that part. I, I'm assuming just, so. I always, it's like people think I'm la They think I'm joking when I say that. I mean, it's amazing to me how many Christians believe the earth is flat. The earth is not flat. Um. But yeah, you, in fact, I had done a video about 
a, and I don't know these people, but it was a husband and wife who had Rapture Dreams the same night. Now, um, your husband is working night shift. So, yeah. um, so for him to just be at work, he was, you know, he goes to work like at 630, right? Yeah. Yeah. So he, he was just putting his head down for a time around nine o'clock, you say? Yeah. He gets to work at six and then takes an early break or something like that. Mm hmm. So, um, anything else you want to, I mean, this is kind of a short video, but anything else you want to talk about? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, so the, um, let's see what day this was, you had it on Sunday morning? Yeah. December 11th. Oh, just yesterday morning. Oh, Okay. So he had it on Saturday night and you had it on Sunday morning. So hopefully that, yeah. you know, could it be that it's a one week notice? I, I'd like that. Or maybe, it, you know, maybe it's a three day notice. You know, Joshua one eleven, in three days you cross into the promised land. Today is 12-12. Oh, yeah. it's actually 5-0-1 for me, which means it's one minute after midnight in Israel. <laughs> <laughs> which would be good. Um and when we talk about the rapture, we're talking about an event that is pre-tribulation. The rapture is not for um, the church. The church is the born-again believers in Jesus. Uh, Caitlin has done interview with me before, but just briefly, you want to tell them when you and Alex have gotten born again? Um, I got born again last June after practicing witchcraft and getting into, you know, all that stuff and falling into depression. And then Alex got born again just recently this year. I think within the last, like, four or five months, maybe. Mm -hmm. And so isn't it interesting that you can get, um, you can get born again and then be aware of the rapture by the Holy Spirit? that the rapture is for you. It's for, it's for anybody who gets born again, um, whether they just got born again today or if they got born again, like I did 17 years ago, when you're born again, you have a new heart and a new mind and you love Jesus and Jesus loves us. He's not going to have us go through the seven year tribulation because we're not appointed to God's wrath. And the whole seven years will be the wrath of God, starting as soon as the as soon as we're up there, um, we get raptured because of of Revelation three ten and eleven because we've kept the command to persevere. He will keep us from the time of testing that will come upon the whole earth, the whole earth, and then um, Revelation four one, the door opens, we get caught up to meet Jesus in the air. He's not coming down to earth. He's only coming only into the atmosphere to bring us up, to take us to heaven for seven years, which will be known as the time of uh, Daniel's 70th week. And then um, after that, that's Revelation, basically Revelation 6 through 19. And then in, six, in, in uh, Revelation 19, when Jesus returns down to earth, we come back down with them at that point. Um, I will put in um, the link to the scriptures of what that is. But I'll also tell you, since since my channel is known for also being about divorce and remarriage, uh, Caitlin, I have her video of, um, of three of her TikTok videos that she did about divorce and remarriage. I have that on my uh, channel too. And anybody who is in a remarriage, you have the opportunity to repent now and go in the rapture. Um, I was thinking today about uh, the young woman this summer who I met at my house, uh, Delshay is her name, and she, she'd she never had anybody share the gospel with her, which I did using um, the Living Waters method. And uh, whether you've lied or stolen or blasphemed or... Um, you know, practiced new age or, or whatever, 
you've all we've all sinned and then the thing is she when i asked her you know have you had uh premarital sex which is fornication not only had she had that she'd had two children um from from her fornication then she also had uh divorced her husband that she used to read the bible with they used to read the bible together in her first marriage and um and then she divorced him and then she got remarried in the church the pastor of the church he was divorced and remarried got her to marry a divorced he was divorced twice so this was his third marriage and her second marriage and nobody had ever told her this so she here she was just my pest control she was coming to do the pest control service and she spent 2 hours at my house cuz no one had ever shown her the shown her the verses in the bible and then um you know 4 days she was crying she was crying we're supposed to tell people the truth and love truth and love and so i don't know i just had to say this because anybody anybody can get saved but you must repent there's so many people that share the gospel without saying anything about repentance right caitlin right like if you were to you know you and your husband now, you had a premarital relationship also, right? So if you had not if you had not repented of of that fornication, you're not forgiven. You have to repent to be forgiven, right? Yeah. So um it's available. It's a free gift of salvation. There's nothing we can do to earn it, but the gift has to be opened and it's opened when you accept that Jesus died on the cross for your sins. He was buried, he rose again on the third day, and the repentance is to admit that you're a sinner and ask him to uh to wash you clean by his blood and you will be born again. He will come to live inside you and you will want to do what pleases him and you know caitlin even though she's fairly new in the faith you spend a lot of time i mean you've been spending a lot of time with the lord in in bible study i mean and she's a busy mom she's got two children <laughs> right but what is yeah. like how would you say your normal i mean what do you do as far as as your uh, time with the lord each day Here's where we had the phone problem. <laughs> you there? Caitlin? She didn't get raptured <laughs> without me or you. <laughs> Are you there? I don't know why I can't hear you. Hello? Hello, I couldn't hear you. I was asking I'm, I was asking what are you doing like leading up to this dream? That's your Is that your first rapture dream? Um, I had one last October. What was that one like? Um, well, I was pregnant then, so I was, I remember I was laying down very, very sleepy <laughs> and it was in the middle of the night, I think it was at 5 a.m. again last year, and my body started moving in the bed and I felt myself lifting up. I actually thought it was the rapture. <laughs> and then I saw a white light behind my eyelid and I said, I'm ready, Lord. And then... I saw a brief snippet of me walking up, I guess, in heaven. I was walking, and I saw myself there. And then when I woke up, I woke up inside the dream, and I stood up, and there was a clock on the wall, and the either second hand or minute hand was moving really quickly around the clock. And then I woke up, woke up for real, and I heard, like, a low trumpet sound blowing. But it was like, I think it was just like a warning obviously didn't really hear it <laughs> just heard it in my spirit right and that was the end of it yes i mean I, was it the sound of like a shofar or a or a yeah yeah i've heard shofar. i've heard both kinds of trumpets um yeah. but you know it's in your spirit but it sounds really real <laughs> yeah i had it happen one time in the middle of the night that it was so loud that I jumped out of the bed thinking that um, I started I started walking. Well, oh, I guess no, that was not the shofar. That was um, I I used to hear knocks all the time, like you know, it was always three knocks, 
and it would sound like it was at the really at the door. And I, <laughs> one time I woke up in the middle of the night and then it was like the knocks were so loud. I jumped up and started running towards the front door. I thought that someone was at the door, but, um, yeah. And then here I, here I had this, um, I guess my last Raptor dream was with the tornado at the front door and I was on the floor going, this is it. This is it. Everybody, this is it. And then I'm not afraid at all of the tornado. And then the next thing I know, I'm up flying, flying in uh, heaven and see, I see one big white tree with green fields. I've not seen the gold fields. I know that Karen in Israel, she had, she's had a raptor dream where she saw the golden streets and everything, but I haven't seen the golden streets, but, um, I sure hope it doesn't mean that it's wheat fields and we have to wait until next summer. (laughs) (laughs) I don't think so. Anyway, um, if anybody needs, if anybody has any questions about the difference between the rapture and the second coming, please let me know. Um, if anybody has any, I mean, Caitlin, Caitlin does not believe that, I mean, Caitlin believes that divorce or marriage is adultery. Um, she has it in her family and, um, the scriptures back that up, that backs that up. So if anybody needs to repent of any, any sin, uh, put it in the comments and I'll, I'll be praying for you to repent because without repentance, you will not be seeing the Lord. It's, it's, um, you know, it's repent and believe, repent and trust, but just to say I'm saved and I'm going in the rapture and continue in the sin is not, you're deceived, you're deceived. And we don't want you to be deceived. We want you to be joining us in the rapture. So anything else you want to say, Caitlin, before I end it? Maranatha. Maranatha. Okay. (laughs) God bless everybody. Maranatha.